Hey guys, it's Chris, and it looks like Game of Thrones has released some new pictures today from Season 7 to Entertainment Weekly. I don't think there's a whole lot we can deduce from these pictures. They're really kind of continuations of the last set of pictures we got, but we do have a couple good shots here, a couple of important ones, I think. And also today I was notified by a subscriber that HBO has actually removed the Long Walk teaser from YouTube, which is odd to say the least. So we're only about a month and a half away or so, and they're starting all the promotional materials, getting us hyped as hell. These damn pictures, especially one in particular, has me pretty damn pumped, so let's jump right in and see what we can find. Dracaris. All right, first here we have a picture of Tormund here. He is in Winterfell, and he is eagerly awaiting Brienne to come down. Obviously, this is the courtyard of Winterfell here. You see some snow on the ground. You see the Stark direwolf above the doorway there. Of course, it's an arched doorway as well. And this is probably going to be, I'm imagining, when Jon is leaving and going to head south to see Danny, and he's going to leave Tormund behind there. So I think he's going to stay behind to kind of look out for Sansa. And this may be part of the drama between Sansa and Jon a little bit that Littlefinger tries to stir up because He's going to be like, you know, you should get rid of these wildlings, even though they helped win the damn battle. But then again, he's going to take credit, and Sansa for that matter, for winning the battle, bringing the forces of the Vale in there, although she kept that information from Jon in the first place. So again, this is definitely torment in Winterfell, probably as Jon is leaving or when he just left, or actually you can see some guards walking out the gate there behind him. It could be he's actually turning around and looking up at Brienne who's probably with Sansa on the battlements. And next we have, speaking of Sansa and Littlefinger, them on the battlements. This is basically the same shot we saw previously. They released a picture except from the front this time. And it looks like they're looking down on the courtyard at Winterfell as Jon leaves. That's what I'm imagining. So they're talking about something and she's probably been left uh, Lady of Winterfell in charge, obviously, since Jon is King of the North and Littlefinger is already starting his manipulations. So this is probably about the time Jon's leaving. You can see some stark banners down here below sticking up. So that's probably the party heading out as they are actually watching and Littlefinger starting to put shit in her ear again. The question is, is Sansa going to actually listen this time or is she going to really play the game and pretend she's listening and really using everything against Littlefinger? And next we have here a shot of Jon in Winterfell leaving. It looks like it looks like this is definitely Winterfell still on the ground. He's on his horse. We see the Stark men around him and the snow falling. So this is him looking up at Sansa, I'm imagining, on that same balcony there where Littlefinger is. And it looks like he's kind of giving her the, I don't know, is that a peace sign? So he's basically waving by, kind of like he did to Sam when Sam left for the Citadel. So this is all probably the same little scene here, or the same sequence, where John is actually heading out and just left Sansa in charge of Winterfell. So he's going to see the Dragon Queen. And next here we have a shot of Cersei and Jaime. And you can see here, this is the same uh, picture we got before, basically, but just more with the cast in it. You can see on the screen there in the lower left-hand corner what we're actually going to see on camera, or at least part of it. It's going to be kind of a close-up shot, or it'll probably pan out or pan in one or the other. But this looks to be very formal, although we don't see Kyburn on the side of Her Cersei. But we do see Jamie here, and this is the same picture we saw Jamie before, where he does have Widow's Whale now, the other half of uh, Ice that was broken down into Widow's Whale and Oathkeeper. So this is going to be something very formal here. She's looking ahead. I'm going to guess this is probably when she first meets Euron. Euron probably marches up into the Red Keep, into the throne room and actually presents Cersei with a gift being the Sand Snakes since they are her enemies and killed her daughter or at least responsible for it. And of course they also went rogue in King's Landing so this is going to be probably Euron approaching Cersei for the first time. And jamie has got his hand on his hilt ready to cut anybody down that tries to make a move. Although that won't last very long this relationship is definitely on the rocks. And then we have a picture here of Brienne here. This is in Winterfell again. You can see the uh, banners rolled up there. So it looks like this is a costume person or makeup person, whatever, you know, fixing her armor or what have you. But you can see behind her, you see the braids in Sansa's hair, her red hair bright behind her. And Littlefinger is down behind her as well. You can see back there, he's kind of blurred out. This is probably the same scene, just another angle from the shot we just saw a minute ago where Littlefinger and Sansa are standing there at the battlements looking as John leaves. And because Bran doesn't trust Littlefinger, and Sansa of course doesn't either, as she mentioned last year, Bran's always going to be really close to Sansa not to let her down again, so she's not going to ever venture far. So during that scene where Sansa and Littlefinger are talking, she's probably going to be pretty close by and basically just out of the shot when we see Littlefinger and Sansa talking as John leaves. 
And next we have Arya. Now this is one of the more interesting pictures they released here. Arya is on a horse here. She is all packed up. It looks like she's got full-fledged winter clothes on. It looks like she's about to head out on a adventure here, probably heading home. But I'm really not sure about this location. We do see an archway there that's curved. And it seems to be uh, a Winterfell style archway. So this could be actually when she arrives at Winterfell. It's hard to tell by the stone. Winterfell does have this type of stone as far as the gray look. But it's also very worn out and old in other places. So it's hard to say if this is before or after her little trip home. Now this is certainly possibly before she leaves on her trip to head home. Because she doesn't look really dirty. Because you think, you know, after a long ride, especially that kind of distance in those days on a horse that she would look a little more rough, but she looks fairly clean. So this could perhaps be that she is uh, about to leave uh, River Run, perhaps, but I don't think the stonework matches River Run. It has a different type of stone, and it's a little more yellow. This also could be her leaving the twins after she took care of the Freys, about to go on her trip as well, but it's hard to tell with the uh, stonework again because we never really got a good shot of the twins. It was always dark and dreary inside when we saw the Red Wedding and the scene last year with Walter Frey and then when Arya actually killed him. So this could be when she arrives in Winterfell, when she first gets in, she's definitely looking off at something here, but she looks like she's fairly rested as well, so maybe she did stop by that inn and meet Hot Pie again. And finally here, my favorite of the whole sequence here, we have a shot of Danny on Drogon, and holy shit, look at how big this damn dragon is now. This is obviously some kind of field of fire going on during a battle. Now, I don't know if this is kind of a promotional shot, but it looks to be this may actually be in a scene here in the show and if that's the case, this won't be the very first couple episodes. I'd imagine this will be kind of mid-season. But it looks like we have some Dothraki in the background fighting there. Obviously, there's fire there, so Drogon's doing his work. But look how small Danny is on Drogon now compared to last year. If you take a look at these pictures here from last year when she was on Drogon, she could still basically wrap her legs around, you know, the back of his neck. She could climb on his wing fairly quickly. You see this picture here of her in the Dothraki Sea when she first got Drogon back and climbed on board and kind of rallied the Dothraki around her. You can see he's pretty damn big, but at the same time, you can still see her size in comparison to his. And also, if you look at this picture here, when she was at the Pyramid in Marine before the Battle of Fire over in Marine, you can see here he is bigger, and it looks very similar, but you can still see in the size comparison relative to her and Drogon's neck that he was smaller, so damn these dragons have grown. They did say they're going to be the size of 747s. I wouldn't quite say that's the size of a 747, but if you look at this picture here, Look how much different she looks on the back there. She's a lot smaller. This is starting to look more like this picture here. And this would be Aegon the Conqueror on Beleriand the Black Dread. And that's the kind of picture they're trying to get you to understand here. That Drogon is basically the reincarnation. Not literally, but the reincarnation of Beleriand the Black Dread. And of course, Danny would be Aegon the Conqueror. Only everything's reversed now. So this is the kind of shot here that they're wanting to kind of give you. This is in the world of Ice and Fire. This is uh, Aegon the Conqueror on Beleriand the Black Dread. Of course, he's standing up and has a kind of a harness, but I don't know if they're going to do that in the show. I would really love to see like Drogon and the other dragons get actual armor and stuff like that. That would be pretty badass. But you can see here that this picture with Danny on the back of Drogon in the middle of this battle. And this battle, I think, would probably be the battle perhaps at High Garden, uh, perhaps as the Lannisters go try to take High Garden, and perhaps Danny stops that, or perhaps it's after the Battle of High Garden, where the Lannisters do take it over and have some small victory. Then Danny actually meets them in the field somewhere, so I'd imagine this would be around that area as far as the battle goes. But you can see here, this is very much representing this kind of shot here with Valyrian the Black Dread and Aegon the Conqueror. These damn dragons are big as hell now, and that's going to be badass to see, and I'm ready to damn see it. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm really, really excited just about these pictures here, especially the one with Arya, and more importantly, the one with Danny. Just seeing the actual battle here with dragons in Westeros where you see the Dothraki, her people, fighting the Knights of Westeros in their metal suits, just like they promised her in Season 6 when she rallied them on Drogon's back. But anyway, thank you for all the support, especially to you guys on Patreon, and a big shout-out to my executive Patreon smokescreen producers, Hollis Griffin, Volga 10, Lala Gig, Kisa Powell, Mark Joseph, a.k.a. The Snow and Winterfell, Marilyn Bentley, Joanna, Sean Hayes, and Anonymous. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate the support. And to everybody out there in YouTube land, thank you so much. Be sure to subscribe to get everything. Be sure to click that notification bell as well so you're notified when I drop a new video. Thanks for watching, you guys, and we'll see you 